Welcome to this video, which focuses on some of the special features in Maxwell Render. In this video, we'll cover how to use invisible emitters in your scenes. We'll be using Maya, but this feature can be used with any of the 3D platforms compatible with Maxwell Render. Quite often, when designing the illumination setup for a scene, you'll want to include some extra light sources to produce interesting reflections or lighting effects, or to increase the illumination of a certain area just like a director of photography does on a real set. Obviously, the first step to set a light source is to create its geometry, place it in the correct location, and apply a Maxwell emitter material to it. To make a Maxwell material emit light, simply add an emitter component to your material. An emitter is defined by its color and intensity. Efficacy works as a multiplier of the emitter intensity. Hit Render to see the contribution of the emitter. Although the lighting that is provided is fine, Sometimes you don't want to see the emitter body itself appearing in the render. We will see how to hide the emitter from camera while preserving its light emission. All objects have their particular Maxwell properties where you can set their visibility to the Maxwell camera. Enable the Hide to Camera checkbox and the object will not appear in the render. This way the emitter produces light as expected, but it doesn't appear in the render. Although it doesn't appear in the render, you can see its shadows on other objects, produced by the rays from other light sources being intercepted by the emitter object itself. These shadows show where the emitter is, so we should avoid seeing the shadow from the hidden emitter. To avoid our emitter body casting shadows, we simply have to add what we sometimes call a ghost component to the emitter material. This is defined by 100% transparency, transmitter colour to pure white 255, and a refraction index of exactly 1. This component will behave like a vacuum or air, allowing the light to pass through the object without interacting with it. With these two steps, you'll get an emitter that casts light into the scene, but doesn't appear in the render and doesn't cast shadows, being completely invisible except for its light contribution. This is very useful for fill lights, frequently used in photography and cinematography. Thank you for watching this video.